shooting threatening things that move keeping dry under a roof oh yeah that's living the life at the dead end come on in so here we are we're in my trapper shack and uh we're gonna cook some beaver that beaver in fact that I skinned. I'm gonna kind of go a little Asian and I'm going to stir fry it with some vegetables. So I'm going to use the skillet. So we'll let that warm up and I'll get the veggies ready. Okay. Here are the ingredients. We got some bacon, get things started. We got the beaver meat. Uh, with the meat, I soaked it in salt water for two days to draw out uh, the blood. And then I put a little bit of seasoning on it for a few hours. Uh, some fresh beans from the garden. Carrots out of the garden that I harvested in February. You know what I mean? Uh, some onions, some red pepper, and then the killer oyster flavored sauce. This isn't a Julia Child's recipe. You're not gonna find any fancy ingredients like cooking sherry, unless you know a girl named Sherry and she knows how to cook who can help you. First things first, I have to get my stove the way I want it. I'm gonna pull the pan back. I'm going to open up the fire. Push the pan over the top. So now I have two zones of heat. I've got really hot right here over the fire and I gotta warm a little, well it's still hot over here but not as hot. So two zones for cooking. First ingredient, bacon. The bacon is really just to get that bit of bacon grease there so I can start to fry the meat on a hot heat. Fry the meat on a hot heat. Now that the bacon is nice, I'm gonna take the meat and throw it in. I like to put the garlic in fairly soon. Seriously, if you could smell this right now, you would want to eat it right now. Now that it's browning pretty good, I'm going to take my oyster sauce. So the meat is pretty much ready. All I'm going to do now is pull it away from the heat the other side and I'm going to steam my vegetables. Okay, the veggies are nice and limp. I mixed in the beaver with the veggies and now I've got some pre-cooked spaghetti squash I'm gonna heat up on the side right here and that's what we're gonna put it on top of I've got some beaver taste testers coming to test it out so you don't have to take my word for it you can see if they like it come on and have some beaver Did you fall down, Brandon? Did you have a good trip? Yeah. I meant Brandon. <laughs> Does it smell good? Well, I'm here with my two beaver taste testers. A little bit for Brandon. And a little bit for Jillian. Taste it out and tell me what you think.
like it? I like it. Yeah. This is beaver. Try that. Whoa. You like it? Yeah, it tastes like meat. Tastes like meat. <laughs> that means it's time for me to eat. So I hope you enjoy this recipe. And I hope you can enjoy your family like I do. That's living the life at the day.